Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here in the wood shop trying to use up some of my scraps. Uh, these are the cutoffs from the hickory floor here. Uh, there's a big stack there, another big stack there, and then I've got another couple other piles of uh, wood that's going to get turned into cutting boards here. Just trying to go through and uh, use up some of the little pieces here. Another one down there, that's one that just came out of the clamps. Uh, I've been trying to use up all the uh, scraps I have around here. Uh, so yeah, just uh, trying to uh, use up my scraps and trying to uh, put them to good use here and uh, turn them into some cutting boards. These are gonna, I'm gonna do these over here a little differently. Uh, these are all the rips that are narrower than 45 millimeters. Uh, my standard cutting board is uh, anything that's not really wide enough for a face frame or um, you know, uh, too narrow for anything else. I just rip to 45 millimeters wide and uh, make a uh, blank like this and then come along here and cut it, uh, you know, 90 degrees or cut it and then flip it 90 degrees and then re-glue it up. But, uh, you know, kind of 45 millimeters I've found is about the cutoff uh, for as narrow as I care to go because once they get narrower than that, I don't really think they're as stable as uh, I've at least you know, they're fine to use. I have a couple at home, but uh, I just don't feel comfortable selling them because uh, when they're any narrower than that. So that's uh, why I uh, do them thick like that. There's, you know, these are all 45 millimeters, 45 millimeters, and I've got another big stack of hickory over here that's all 45 millimeters that's going to get turned into big boards like that. And then my narrow ones here, I think what I'm going to do is just glue or, or try and pair a thin one and a wide one here, glue them up, uh, you know, glue them up like this, and then use that in place of a, uh, you know, one of the 45 millimeter rips. So anyway, going to see how that goes. I need to get this stuff stashed. I may just move it over there out of the way and, uh, yeah, try and uh, get stuff out of the way. I need to start on the cabinets or some more cabinets for the Oak Street house now that I've got a breath here, I think. Oh, I think I've got a vanity to build either next week or week after that. And then I'm still waiting to hear back on a couple of other big jobs. But yeah, so I'm just trying to clear out the shop. Those are, you know, rips uh, from, uh, or that's going to get used for cooking some steaks. Uh, my neighbor was nice enough to bring over, uh, I don't know, probably 40, 50 pounds of meat from uh, his calf he had butchered. So I got this is all going to get turned into, or, you know, all going to be used for cooking some uh, ribeyes. Anyway, yeah, I'm um, Darlington Farm. That's what I'm up to today. Thank you for watching. Uh, any other questions here in the shop? Uh, if you are interested, just let me know. There's again a shot of the uh, redo on my dust collector arm. I may still, or may yet put some more strapping on it. I haven't decided yet. I need to get the uh, cut table there down and actually decide where I'm going to put it. Now I used to just leave it stashed here, but uh, I think that wood pile is going to be kind of too narrow to actually use. So anyway, yeah, I'm Darlington Farm. There's the shop. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.